Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Photopea tutorial. And this one, I'm showing you guys how you can recreate Mini Mentor's logo. I've been getting a few requests of this. I've seen them like a few months back. So hopefully you guys can get something from this. So without further ado, let's get started. So you want to start out by going to new project and I'm going to type in 800 by 800 for the width and the height and hit create. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and type M. So here's my M. Let's make it a little bit bigger. About 250 maybe. Uh, probably about 350 looks good. And I'm going to find a thick font. Okay, so here's the M. The font is called P Sans, but there's an issue with it. So I'm going to squeeze it a little bit together. So it looks more like that. So we got the M. So the first M is kind of over to the right. And I'm going to rotate it a little more this way. So like this, I would say maybe a little more that way. So yeah, this is the first M over here. And let me change the background color to gray. So about like that and I'm going to change the M to a yellowish. It looks like it's kind of like that color. So we got the first M I'm going to add a stroke and I'm going to make the stroke the same color as the background. You'll see why in a second. Now I'm going to control J this M move this one over here, but this time I'm going to rotate it the other way. So like, I'm trying to look at the other picture on my other monitor. I'm going to move this layer below it. So it's on top. So let me move it like that. It's kind of like, I think this M is smaller than the other one. And I think it looks kind of like this. Maybe let me move it closer. It's kind of hard to replicate it because the picture I have is really low resolution. I'm actually going to make the stroke a little bit thicker on this one. Kind of like that. Move it down just a bit. And it's starting to look pretty good. I think the color of the M's are a little bit tanner. So let me try like that. So let me just change the colors of them real quick. Like that. Okay. So it's looking pretty good so far. Now I'm going to add the text. So I'll add the mini. Change the size. Move it down here. And I need to rotate it up like this. Let's see how that looks. Looks pretty good, honestly. Um, Looks pretty close. I think that's good. Maybe a little more down. Now I'm going to duplicate it and this time type in Minter. And uh, this time I'm going to rotate this text this way. And I'm also going to shrink the text a bit. So like this. Yep. So it's kind of pretty similar in that sense. Now I'm going to change the color like that. And on this one. All right. So now I'm going to make the arrows and I don't know how to make arrows. So I'm going to have to try to figure it out on the spot. It's probably not going to look great, but whatever. So I'm going to click on my background layer, go to my pen tool over here. I'm going to make the fill the color that the text is. And I'm just going to start trying to make it. So I'm going to left click here and it kind of looks like this and then it goes straight out. I'm just trying to remember how it looked. Uh, sort of like that. Um, it's not very good. I know it, it'll do though. It's okay. So there's that arrow. I'm going to hit control J to duplicate it. 
move it down and flip it vertically and flip it horizontally. And I'm just going to move it down here this time. See, so yeah, the arrows don't look that great, but that's okay. And there we go. So, uh, it's not exactly like it. Now there's also a circle around it. So I'm just going to draw a quick circle like that. And I'm going to move it here. This color is going to be the same color as the background, but I'm going to change the background to like, it looks like it's uh orange-ish. Orangish tan, it looks like about like that. And I'm going to give this circle a stroke now. And the stroke is going to be the same color as this text. So it looks like that. So kind of like this. And let me make it a little bit smaller. So it looks like the original. Okay. So there we go. And now we got that part. The background's a little bit darker. So yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's not the best, but the arrows are the only things that are kind of off, but the rest looks pretty good. So hopefully this helped you guys. If it did, leave a like and subscribe. This is pretty fun to recreate. Uh, I haven't done this before, so it, it was pretty fun. And uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.